Hello traders, hello investors. How are you guys doing today, my friends? So today Tesla is doing a top sign just under our resistance area. How problematic is this? Should we worry about this top sign? Will Tesla drop from here? Well, maybe. I will give you guys more details in this video. First, remember to click on the like button to support this channel and subscribe to keep in touch with my daily analysis. I'm here every single day keeping you guys updated on Tesla's price action and on other stocks as well. Now, Tesla is doing a top sign today. It's doing a bearish candlestick pattern. I know it is technically going up 0.04% right now, but the candlestick is indeed bearish. So what this means? Well, it is a top sign. It is under a dual resistance area made by the $229, this black line, and the 21 exponential moving average. So, in theory, since Tesla seems to be in a congestion, right? Because it seems that Tesla is just doing this. In theory, we are supposed to drop all the way down to the 206 again. Unless if we see a very meaningful and interesting reaction before this pullback, before this retest of the support level. Now, we should pay attention to the one hour chart because in the one hour chart, the trend is still bullish. I know we had a double top chart pattern over here, but Tesla is still trading above the 21 EMA and it is still doing higher highs, higher lows. Okay, it is still a higher low at least. So, as long as Tesla remains above this 21 EMA, I don't see Tesla correcting even if it. Even if it loses its EMA, Tesla still has its Fibonacci's retracements to hold the price in case it falls. So it's not going to be that easy for Tesla to drop from here. But I do agree that if, if by losing the 21 EMA, Tesla will face some problems in sustaining the bull trend in the short term at least, indicating that no, we are not going to break the 200 and $29, and no, we're not going to materialize this double bottom chart pattern, at least not right now. So we have to pay attention, extra attention to this resistance area over here. Tesla must break it as soon as possible, preferably tomorrow, because tomorrow is Friday, and Friday is when the week is going to close. And in, in the weekly chart, we are looking quite good. But at all, you guys are quite worried. I, I had some messages from you guys because you are worried that... Uh, what is this? Is that a dinosaur? This is the very beginning. All right. Thank you very much, uh, very much, TradingView. So you guys are worried that the long-term trend is going to be compromised by this chart pattern, this head and shoulders chart pattern, right? And... Uh, I don't analyze the monthly chart too much because, well, because it is my fault. It's not my style. You guys know me. Uh, I am a swing trader. So my goal is to beat the market, is to beat Tesla's performance through my own active management, doing my own performance, my own performance, doing my own approach on this market. And, and by the way, if you want to trade with me, subscribe my newsletters. My performance is public. It is right here this is a public document check my website the link is in the description of this video yes it is possible to beat the market through an active management it is very hard to do so only five percent of traders can actually do this consistently and uh, well so far it has been nearly 100 weeks beating the market together so if you want to join us check my website again the link is in the description of this video now Yes, we do see a head and shoulders chart pattern, but there is analyzing the monthly chart is a little bit problematic for some reasons. First, keep in mind, this is every single candle represents one month. So even if you say that we have a neckline over here, okay, we have a neckline over here. Okay, this is this is this purple line is the neckline by losing this neckline. Tesla will trigger this head and shoulders and we are going to melt maybe to $100, right? Maybe the next support level. Okay, true. But but we got to wait for confirmation first. This 
this chart pattern was not triggered yet. Tesla is still trading above the neckline. I know it violated briefly here in the monthly chart, but in the end, we are recovering and it seems we're going to close above the neckline again. And this is where the real problem begins because Tesla could easily next month drop all the way down over here, lingers for one, two, or even three weeks. And then we see a fantastic, I don't know, inverted head and shoulders chart pattern in the daily chart over here. And Tesla recovers. And by the end of the month, we see a fantastic hammer candlestick pattern closing above the neckline again. This, if this is too specific, it is because this happened to me a few times in the past. So by analyzing the monthly chart, it is, it is just too much time. You will see the breakout of this support level and you're going to panic. You're going to say, oh my God, now the world's end. Now rest in peace, Tesla, we're going to drop from here. And then in the daily chart, we see a fantastic, amazing bullish structure. And then it recovers out of nowhere. And then you will see Tesla doing a fantastic bullish candlestick pattern in the monthly chart, indicating a potential buy, a false breakout from the support level and a potential bear trap as well. So this is why I don't analyze the monthly chart over here. Since my own strategy relies on the midterm, it is just too crazy to keep an eye on the monthly chart every single day. Because, first, because it is not going to move too much. Second, because it is too dangerous to wait for breakouts in the monthly chart. Because it could easily, easily be a false breakout. Instead of looking at this head and shoulders in the monthly chart, personally speaking, I rather prefer analyzing the weekly chart. The weekly chart looks very, very good and very easy and clear to analyze because we see a very strong support level over here at the 206 and Tesla is reacting at the support level. This is great. Now, by reacting at the support level, in theory, we are supposed to bounce back up a little bit, at least maybe to the EMA, maybe to fill the gap at $265. And then we'll see how to proceed. Right now, it's too soon to assume anything. However, if Tesla loses the 206, okay, the sell-off will probably continue because Tesla is in a bear trend in the weekly chart. We are doing lower highs, lower lows since November 2021, right? So it is a bear trend. We can't deny that. So in theory, we would just head to the next support level, which is near the $180, which is the most important. Singularly speaking, this is the most important support level in the midterm and in the long term on Tesla, because it is technically speaking, a very strong support level. And fundamentally speaking, it is where Tesla's fair value is right now at this moment, fundamentally speaking. So the charts meet the fundamentals at $180 down here. In addition to this support level, this black line over here, we have uh, the lower part of this descending channel. So it is a multiple support zone chart wise and fundamentally speaking. I don't, honestly speaking, in my humble opinion, if you ask me, Nathan, do you believe you're going to lose this $180? Well, not necessarily, not right now, at least I'm not working with this possibility. I'm going to be honest with you guys, but uh, retesting the support level is a possibility that I am working with right now at this moment. I mean, not this moment, because right now we are doing a very strong bullish reaction in the weekly chart. If we close this week like that, like this tomorrow, this is going to be great. Okay. It's going is it is going to be a very good sign. If we break this week's high tomorrow, tomorrow, next week, I'm so sorry, then it's going to be simply perfect. I would be strongly convinced that Tesla is going to do a bounce back up to the EMA or even to higher levels. But uh, the support level at $108 is at the same time, if you, if you want to work with the neckline in the monthly chart, I think at this point, no, no, let me just, let me just do one thing over here. Uh, visibility months. Okay. If you want to work with a neckline, well, I would consider working with the $180 as well, instead of trying to work with this inclined, uh, trend line over here. So either way, either way, I would pay attention to this support level. This is the most important thing to me right now. Uh, of course, this head and shoulders is quite 
is quite uh, disturbing in many ways because it could indicate that Tesla might trigger a stronger sell-off, but even so, I would just keep an eye at $180, okay? If Tesla hits $108, then we will talk again about this uh, monthly chart pattern, all right? So right now, I think these are all my insights. My, if you are still watching this video, remember, subscribe to this channel, click on the like button. I think I deserve your like button, am I right? Thank you very much for your audience, my dear friends. See you guys tomorrow. Stay safe. Farewell.